August 15th is celebrated in both Koreas as the anniversary of liberation from Japanese colonial rule at the end of World War II. As National Liberation Day fell on a Sunday this year, we got a substitute holiday yesterday. I mention all this because it's a fitting time to remember some Korean icons. But rather than focusing on human legends for now, we have some news about an animal so strongly associated with Korean culture that it's a key part of everything from national mythology to art to Olympic mascots. The tiger. A rare event happened recently as the endangered Korean tiger had its numbers boosted by five. It was announced late last week that a quintet of tiger cubs had been born at Everland Zoo, just south of Seoul which is an unusually large number to be born at once, and the same tiger parents also had two babies last year. Of course, this is a zoo we're talking about, but there was a time when you might have to keep an eye over your shoulder out in the wild. The last time Korean tigers were captured in the wild was during Japanese rule in the first half of the 20th century. Now, the same subspecies, the Siberian tiger, does still live in the wild outside Korea, but it's interesting that the Korean version developed genetic characteristics to suit its habitat, including being smaller and having darker brown or brighter red coloring. This was confirmed by the National Institute of Biological Resources back in 2009 after it identified 1,240 genes representing differences from Siberian tigers. But could there still be some tigers hidden in Korea, still roaming in the wild? You will see claims that there could be some left in the demilitarized zone between the Koreas. But military surveillance and fences make the DMZ idea very unlikely, even if it has become an ecological paradise of sorts after being left uninhabited by humans for decades. There have been efforts in South Korea to create protected environments for tigers, such as the National Pectudegan Arboretum, but clearly it's not practical to fully introduce them in the wild in a country as heavily populated as this one now is. More realistic is that there are Korean tigers left living free in North Korea. You will hear of tiger sightings in the North, and it's certainly theoretically possible. The fact that it's difficult to verify is an ongoing legacy of colonial rule, after which the Koreas were divided. And that's why National Liberation Day is not just an anniversary of a past memory, but a very real moment to reflect on reunification in the future.